Happy Sunday morning, 7 11, 2021. To God be the glory for yet another beautiful day. I remember ha, 20 years ago when I was like, can I just wait an hour and a half to deliver my son into the world so that he could be a 7 Eleven baby? Because he was born 10 30 at night. But no, no, the Lord is in control. He was 7 10. And he knows our beginning. Everything that's in the middle, that dash, and then when we are called home to be with him. So in the meantime, he wants us to be busy. He wants us to do his will. He wants us, most of all, to be what he has called us to be for such a time as this. We are in the fifth chapter of Nehemiah, and Nehemiah was in his rightful place doing the work that he was called to do. Listen, he spoke up for people who were poor, who did not have a voice. And the Lord wants us to do the same in 2021 or whatever year this is. It says in verse five, yet now our flesh is as the flesh of our brethren, our brothers and sisters, our children as their children. And lo, we bring into bondage our sons and our daughters to be servants. And some of our daughters are brought into bondage already. Neither is it in our power to redeem them, for other men have our lands and vineyards. Now, they were in a bad place. And I was very angry when I heard their cry and these words. Listen, people were charging interest on their relatives. It says, and I said unto them, we after our ability have redeemed our brethren, the Jews, which were sold unto the heathen. And will ye even sell your brethren or shall they be sold unto us? They held their peace and found nothing to answer because he called them out. He's like, why are you charging your family members? Why are you trying to make money? Also, I said, it is not good. This is Nehemiah speaking that Ye do ought, ye not to walk in the fear of our God. Listen, we have all this corruption around us in the government, in communities, and neighborhoods, and cities, in the country. The Lord is looking for people during this time to stand up and declare what is right. I was listening to a radio show today and just talking about all the crime, all the mayhem that's on the streets. And look, the inmates... When shorties are coming to the prisons and jails, they're like, we don't even know who these are. These young people are. They have no respect. Now, if the inmates are saying that, they're like, you know, as far as they're being in gangs, what is going on? What are we to do? Each one of us can do our part. Jesse Jackson said a long time ago, I know I'm going to get this wrong. He said, when white people kill black people, it's time to riot. When black people kill white people, it's jail time. Yeah, so jail time for black people killing white people. When white people kill black people, it's riot time. But when black people kill black people, it's Miller time. What is that mess? What are we doing as far as stemming this violence, this corruption, this mayhem? Well, we have to teach. It says in the word in Psalms, come children, hearken unto me and I will teach you the fear of God. We don't have any fear. <laughs> the fear of God, the respect of God, our father. Woo! And it says in verse 15, but the former governors that had been before me because Nehemiah was a leader. And he was saying how they had taken bread and wine and 40 shekels of silver and all this stuff for themselves. But so did not I because of the fear of God. This is the key here. Yea, also I continued in the work of this wall. He was focused. He wasn't for that foolishness. Neither bought we any land and all my servants were gathered thither unto the work. Listen, the Lord wants us to continue to hearken unto him to do his will, to stay focused, and to be an example for such a time as this. And if you don't believe me, Psalms 41, the Lord wants us to speak on behalf of the people of the land, those who cannot 
speak on their own or who are helpless or the fatherless. Psalms 41, blessed is he or she that considereth the poor. The Lord will deliver him or her in the time of trouble. The Lord will preserve him or her and keep them alive in their bad, lang um, their bed of languishing and sickness. The Lord will strengthen us. So we got to be about our business. Psalm 71 talks about how when we were young, the Lord was our trust from our youth, our hope. And now that we are getting old and gray headed, listen, we are to show this generation the strength, the faithfulness, the grace of the Lord to declare his wondrous works. We are to be that example. So in our households, we will not put any craziness before our eyes, near our ears, but we will be the example, each one. We can make impact in our homes, communities, neighborhoods, cities, states, this country, but it takes each one of us. And it says Psalms 101, I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way. This is David speaking. I will walk within my house with a perfect heart. It starts with our homes. It starts with our individual families. Thank the Lord. We will make that declaration today and we will do great things for our village. Yes, we will. Have a wonderful day. Oh, be an example. Father, we thank you, Lord, that we commit our works and our ways to you. Father, as we worship you in spirit and in truth, Lord, we ask that you will be pleased with the choices that we make. We will follow your spirit as we are full of your spirit. And Lord, you will get the glory in all things. In Jesus' name, amen.